Hey, I'm Aubrey from Aubrey Originals. I just received my Land of the Free Cricut Mystery Box yesterday, so I wanted to do a quick unboxing video. I know that a handful of bloggers did receive this box early and revealed the contents the day it was released, but for now, I'm just a regular Cricut customer like you, so I don't ever get a heads up of when these boxes are released. I also don't know for sure if Cricut plans to continue to release future boxes early to those bloggers. They used to do that for all the boxes, but then stopped in March of this year, so boxes were true mysteries to everyone, and this is the first time they've gone back to releasing the boxes early to those people. Either way, I still plan on stocking the Cricut website for mystery boxes, and I will send notifications to email subscribers whenever I see a new box. For this box, I sent an email out about an hour before I received a notification from the Cricut product expert that I follow. So just saying, that's a whole hour that this box is available and in stock before all those people heard about it. Granted, if I had waited, I may have been able to see the contents before I purchased the box, but by then there's no guarantee that the box would have been in stock. So, if you want to get my Cricut emails and take advantage of my obsessively checking the Cricut site, you can sign up in my blog post on the Cricut mystery boxes and the links to all of that can be found below. The Land of the Free box was released on May 27th and it was a bit of a surprise because we already had a box in May, but I'm not complaining. Uh, this box was at the lower price point and it was available to anyone in the US or Canada, meaning it was not access exclusive. So as expected, there was no Cricut Cutie in this one. Real quick, please like this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be adding more Cricut videos soonish, just depending on my very busy toddler. <laughs> All right, let's get into this box. First, there are three rolls of permanent glossy vinyl in blue, tomato red, and white. Permanent vinyl is great for anything that might get wet, like mugs or water bottles. You can also use it for outdoor projects like yard decor, think planters, or wreath signs. Next, we have holographic sparkle iron-on in blue and red. This is perfect for making some 4th of July t-shirts or maybe a tote bag. There's also a roll of iron-on mesh stars in royal. They call this mesh, by the way, because the stars are actually cut out of the vinyl, so you will see your fabric through the vinyl in your finished product. Next, we have the classic pen set, fine point 0 0.4. It says Cricut Explorer, but it can be used with the Cricut Maker as well. Then a premium fine point blade replacement. Again, it says for the Cricut Explorer machine, but it also works with the maker. We have a pack of felt. This is the carousel sampler. I'm kind of loving that the last two mystery boxes have had felt in them because I love having plenty on hand in my stash. Last, there is a pack of mixed materials, vinyl, cardstock, and transfer tape. The pack is called Cornflower. It has a sheet of blue permanent vinyl, white permanent vinyl, and six sheets of light blue cardstock, and a sheet of transfer tape. And sadly, no Cricut Cutie in this box. Overall, I was really pleased with this box, and it came just in time for all the 4th of July crafts I want to make. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.